Are you getting the picture? Do you see the issue? Okay, so I will be going solo dolo because also I will be dropping all my coins to be in the odd stage VIP. And with that, I will see y'all at the Renaissance World. Well, I won't see y'all because I'm going to be in my own world. I don't even know what to do after that. Welcome to the Factor Uncensored, and shout out to old ass Ray Hunt from the police union who stayed up late with us tonight. Now, we start here. It's been an exciting and very stressful 24 hours for Beyonce fans. The legendary singer has officially announced her new world tour. A lot of people want to see her perform, leaving many of her fans concerned if they can get a ticket or even if they can afford it. By the way, there's a lot of misinformation about tickets prices out there. Some people online are claiming you need at least $700 to get a seat. However, prices have not been released just yet. We'll have a better idea once the pre-sale for tickets begin on Monday. Now, in the past, people have tricked out their significant others to pay their <laughs> to pay to see their favorite artists live. Go sell some ass on Bissonette. DJ Superstar, <laughs> so I can see Prince live. Producer Sonora Harris plans to sell her imaginary foster kids to see Beyonce, which got us to thinking, how much have people paid to see concerts in the past, meaning the most expensive? The cost of tickets for Adele's last legacy, last Las Vegas residency dropped, but some tickets were going for as much as $4,200. Bruce Springsteen's tour cost more than $5,000. And back in 2007, a Led Zeppelin uh, fan paid more than $168,000 $168, for the band reunion tour. Let's talk about it. Mimi is here, along with Funky Larry Jones, the radio legend and DJ superstar, <laughs> all in the factor on Sensor. Now, I know you love Beyonce. <laughs> And you're afraid of the beehive. <laughs> I'm a member. <laughs> See? Say, yeah. We got someone. <laughs> but how much would you pay for a concert like that? Well, when I saw those uh, fake uh, uh, prices, uh, I was <laughs> really looking at the VIP packages like, okay, how can I get up there? Because I really want to experience that. Like, I am a Beyonce fan. But I'm how sorry. much would you be willing to pay? Um, maybe stuff? close to maybe two stacks, three. W what's a stack two. for those? <laughs> with a stack? A, a, a million? Uh, well, a thousand. A grand. You a grand. I mean, yeah, I would. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Only if I could go back there, you know, and experience. Like they have a whole package now. Like they have these whole packages where you can do this whole experience thing. Mm -hmm. Go back there, you know. Hopefully, you know, meet her, eat maybe some Frenchie's chicken <laughs> or something. But they have a lot of packages, um, you know. Mimi, what would you be willing to pay? Absolutely. And not just for Beyonce, but for any artist out there. Maybe your favorite. Come on. I've already seen my favorite before, so it's it's nothing. Mm -hmm. um, to be honest with you, it, it also depends on who the, the artist is and how popular they are. But for me, I wouldn't pay nothing for them, but I will support them in other ways. Mm -hmm. That's just my opinion. Um, I'm, I'm not giving up my car. Uh, I'm saying as far as listening. <laughs> I'm saying as far as listening to their music, you know, going, going. To, you know, like, well, I mean, I mean get, get in, get in the, you I know, down, downloading their music. But I'm not about to pay a car note uh, or or a house note for just for just so I can see them for two hours. Larry Jones from Magic 102. Yes, sir. What would you be willing to pay to see your favorite artist? That's a wide, wide for me, because you know I'm old as dirt in this building. I'm the oldest thing here, so I, in truth, I remember paying five dollars to see the Commodores play when they first started. But for me, it would be by my kids or my grandkids. So it, it, if it was a pressing matter and, and Poppy had to do, uh, <laughs> I'd try to find a package about maybe fifteen hundred for all of them, mm -hmm. or maybe someone who has a suite. We can, you know, swap out some see, stuff. Right. But I'm not paying three thousand dollars. <laughs> Super for star. any <laughs> ticket for anybody. Uh -uh. That's, that's not, what if there was Prince of Michael Jackson? Is there, well, Michael Jackson is different. Well, I'm now, just come saying. on. Yeah. Come well, Beyonce. That's my favorite. 
I mean, but, 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 but for catalog. your Beyonce, yeah. if that's what you want, okay. yeah, well, okay. but, but have you budgeted that the, out? The, the sacrifice. What about the rest of the month? No, the sacrifice. No, yeah. no I have not. No budgeted. rent, no water, no <laughs> Maybe that's not Beyonce. Hey. You know, but we, what we do know is people are going to pay for entertainment. We're going to pay for what we like, and we're going to pay for what we want to go see or save up. You know, people do it all the time for uh, vacations and things of that sort as well, too. So if that if it's worth that sacrifice, make sure you prepare for it. Yeah, because you still got to have hot water when you get home. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, and lights. And, and lights. And, and, and that is true. Central. Maybe some food. <laughs> Are you shocked, Larry, um, about the amount that people are now willing to pay to see a celebrity? I was. And like you, my first concert was Cool in the Gang. Sure. And I got some Easter money from family. <laughs> and, I kid, and I had $25. What? And I had to pay $25 to get a ticket. And I was mortified. I was here a couple years <laughs> back. A couple years back, you could see this, this momentum building, especially with folks like Elton John. Uh, and, and a lot of the old rockers who'd come out of the Eagles, Doobie Brothers, and the prices just started going and going and going. Mm -hmm. And there were shows not just on the weekend, folk going out on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh -huh. Thursday night. That kind of threw me off. Mm -hmm. so, so, shock, no. But these current prices... Oh God, this is this is unfair. You got to blame the pandemic for this, first of all. <laughs> and, and, and that, that's a good <laughs> point. Because we're point. playing catch up. Yeah, we are. You know, yeah. I mm -hmm. think prices have went up. What since ticket sales were 30, 30, sure. 40 percent right. since the pandemic, and then but some. Why? Greed. <laughs> see, see. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing, though. Here's the reality. Yeah. Superstar, you will likely get in free. <laughs> Larry Jones, you will likely get in free. Yes, Those people who are celebrities on air, they get in free while the average working person will have to pay. Oh. And that's just unfortunate. Oh. But I'm getting in free. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, seriously, though, that is the case. Oh, man, that's you know, crazy. I see you guys, you know, walking up. Superstar. I try not to skip. Now. I don't try. I but try I to stand back. as being marched to the front row, and you guys are not paying. What? Don't call me. Huh? Look at this guy. Look <laughs> <laughs> at this guy. Look 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 at this Beyonce will have you guys in the front row, oh, in the back. I hope she calls me the DJ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'll be doing the media. Don't worry. Well, we thank you all.